Hello, I'm Emmanuel Bach. I'm back with the Two Minute Masterclass, and today it's Mendelssohn Concerto in E minor, third movement. This third movement presents some really fascinating aspects to understand and get to grips with, not least of which actually is the initial relationship between this uh, allegretto non troppo, which I've just played a part of, and the following allegro molto vivace, which is, I think it's fair to say, the third movement for real. And what is uh, what we have in common with both uh, uh, parts of the third movement is that we have to have an immediate communication of the character and this allegretto starts off in a somewhat melancholic manner and to communicate that we really need to have a clear idea in our head of the sound we want to produce and the kind of phrasing and there's this sighing quality to uh, the initial uh, the initial part that we hear in, in the beginning of this third movement here and uh, we need to really speak with the bow and use our vibrato to be expressive as it's marked. And uh, perhaps we can think of it somewhat, somewhat like this. So it's like asking a question and then we have an answer. which itself is actually unresolved. So it's like answering a question with a question. There is, of course, a change in tone that goes on during this introductory uh, section, and it comes just after here. And that A, which we arrive at, really needs to sing out because that's really the turning point where we change character and prepare for the next part of the movement. And this next part of the movement, the Allegro, has to be full of life, full of energy, full of uh, uh, wit, and indeed a certain degree of humour. Because the orchestra actually starts off, of course, fortissimo, and then the violin answers scherzando and piano, like this. And we need to be very clear in our heads about, how, again, how we want that to sound, and clear that none of the notes are lost, so really feeling the string and ensuring that that can be heard because it's quite easy for those notes to become lost in certainly in a large hall. In the main theme we need to be thinking of course about the character and the cheekiness of it and it's very useful to practice it slowly like this and to really feel each of those staccato quavers in the bow hand and using the fingers to make an upward movement on them. There are certain passages which it is uh, really worth practicing with a lot of uh, uh, slow work and again, gradually building up the speed. And this is certainly one of them. And really building in a crescendo that takes us right to the top of uh, the phrase there, which is the climax and culmination. And uh, it's that kind of energy that we need to find everywhere. Elsewhere, it's a matter of rhythmical character. And this is one of those passages. So feeling those two high points as being moments where we give out a lot of energy. And that gives this uh, sense of buoyancy, which the movement as a whole really, really needs. That's all for today.